the decision by the president has come and has come at a very critical time in the economy and the capital market operations. But despite that, it is expected that the nominee, Mr. Godin Emefiele, for the central bank governor's position should, if confirmed, bring momentum, stability, both to the macro and the microeconomic level of the Nigerian economy. We're here talking about uh, a decision which is now 24 hours so far on the suspension of the central bank governor, Malam Lamido Sanusi Lamido. Considering the fact that Nigeria's economy has been recovering and is about 6.7% in growth level, considering the challenges we're seeing in the market and also driving further investment, was this decision uh, a right one for the presidency? Well, precisely, I'm not holding for either for the presidency or the central bank government. But I believe that Sanusi has his own good side and his bad side. But one thing is, once you are a government official, it is presumed and assumed that your loyalty should be to your employer of neighbor. Sanusi is an employer of the federal government and is occupying a very, very sensitive position as far as Nigeria economy is concerned. Both the monetary policy and the fiscal policies of the country emanate to a certain extent from the Central Bank of Nigeria. It's a young way you are seeing the Central Bank of Nigeria talking at every point in time. He doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't speak well of him. We know to a certain extent that uh, in fact the suspension is long overdue because the time I was told I, that we read in the newspaper and we saw him donating money as if the central bank is a father Christmas, he doesn't speak well of an institution of such magnitude. You could remember he gave 10 billion naira to University of uh, uh, Usman Afodo University. I'm not against him giving money, but are this thing done following the due process? Then that is the aspect I am not too comfortable with. But to a certain extent, when you look at what is happening regarding the reforms he did in the, in the banking industry, we can give him a kudos because he said no bank will go under. And under his, under his administration, we've seen that actually no bank went under. Because if a bank should collapse in Nigeria, we know the ripple effects and the multiplier effect is going to have in the economy. But for him to have, to a certain extent, sustained the, the economy to such an aspect is good. And also, you see, being a whistleblower may not, may not be too good as far as uh, administration is concerned. You are the central bank governor. If you have an issue regarding uh, maybe a policy or a situation in the economy, is, mind you, is equally a member of the uh, economic, economic management team, he will have raised this issue and let it be resolved without blowing the whistle because a lot of people will misunderstand whatever he is saying. And you know, an administration that is having one or two issues as far as uh, the economy is concerned because expectations of people are not met and you are still blowing something that will affect the administration negatively doesn't speak well. It's not right in the sense that he has four months to uh, complete his tenure and uh, he should have been allowed to complete that many four months because the perception of the populace of people that are viewing will be viewing the, from the political era that 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 decision is taken based on political consideration rather than economic consideration. So I would have suggested that we should allow him for economically okay because the impact you have on the Nigerian economic system is to allow him to finish his tenure, which is very short anyway. But again, this has been taken time been taken. So with the way forward, we look at the way forward. Although uh, no person is uh, actually indispensable, but uh, looking at the uh, profile of um, Lamido Sanusi, especially as far as uh, the international uh, community sees him. Uh, they regard him as uh, a figure who has um, supported very immensely the macroeconomic uh, stability of uh, the Nigerian economy and uh, has done a lot to safeguard foreign investment in the country. And so with um, the um, 
action taken against him yesterday, a lot of uh, investors, especially uh, foreign investors, uh, from what I have re read so far in some of the foreign media, uh, does not appear to be favorable to the uh, decision to have him suspended at this point in time when he's at the twilight of his uh, tenure in the bank. Perhaps uh, he could have uh, uh, been okay for him to have stepped out uh, his uh, tenure uh, before uh, leaving uh, uh, naturally. And now Mr. Godwin Emefiele has been sent as the nominee. We heard initial names, but it's now Mr. Godwin Emefiele, uh, CEO of Zenit Bank. Does he have what it takes if he's confirmed to move the market forward? Yeah, in terms of um, banking and um, with his uh, background, uh, Godwin Emefiele is a, a sound uh, successor to um, Lamido Sanusi as governor of the bank. He's um, been in uh, academia for quite a while and thereafter he moved into banking and uh, he's gone through the various um, uh, layers of banking so he has um, cognate experience and um, he's uh, quite competent in the field of banking and also based on his background in economics he is uh, seen as a well-rounded uh, square peg in a square hole but beyond his technical competence in um, the field of finance and economics Godwin is uh, a very calm and uh, subtle uh, person uh, who has a temperament to relate effectively with uh, authorities across all levels. So he's um, a wonderful choice and um, we all wish him well in his uh, new uh, engagement or challenge as Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria. I don't have any, any, any reservation about uh, Emifele. He's an astute banker. He has been in the banking industry for close to 30 years. And uh, he has been consistent in the way, in the, I mean, in the place he was working. He has headed strategy in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Zenith Bank, and he was an executive director before becoming the DMD, and now the MD of the bank. I think he has garnered enough experience, but we will only advise him that as he's settling now, he should look for people who really know what it takes as far as economic policies, is concerned. He should look for sound economists and he should look at the banana peel that affected his predecessor and trade caution. You know, I've never seen Alan Grisman when he was uh, heading the US edition talking everywhere. And you know how many presidents that man succeeded before handing over to the present uh, uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve. So it should trade caution. If you have a thing, there are better ways of doing bad things and there are good ways of doing bad things too. So those are my reservations. It should just trade caution and concentrate on the job he's supposed to do. It should face the economy, stabilize the economy. You can see, I think the, 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 the dollar has really overrun the Naira. You know, the present exchange rate. These are what we need to focus on. Great job for people. We can't be telling me that the, 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 the economy is performing at so, so, so percent. Why a lot of people are jobless? It should also make sure that the interest rate comes down so that a lot of people can have access. A lot of companies who are moribund now can have liquidity to, to finance their activities. It should also consider a lot of policies that will affect me and you as a commoner in Nigeria. So I think this one should be preoccupied is uh, is is assumption of office rather than junketing from here to here, here to here, here to here.